Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike here, another video. Um, another week, another day, another dollar. Uh, today's Tuesday. It is 8.50, and um, today's a busy day for me. I got about seven jobs today, and, um, you know, it might not be busy for you guys if to do seven jobs, I mean, but for me, because now, you know, home, I have to do paperwork. That might be another two hours, you know, depending on how fast I move, but um, yeah, today I wanted to talk about real quick, just some, I don't want to say issues or complaints, but just the downsides of warranty work sometimes, because it's, it's just what you have to deal with. Um, I speak a lot about warranty work, because when it comes to COD calls, it's kind of self-explanatory. Once you go in there and you got your pricing down right, and um, you know how to fix what you're fixing. Warranty calls a little different because, for instance, um, it's only Tuesday this week, but yesterday I had a big call. Um, all last week, I've been getting um, jobs where parts have been over 200 plus. So, I think I have like three jobs like that where each part is like 230, twos. So, that's almost $700 for parts that I have to put out until I get paid for those jobs, which is 30 days from this warranty company. Um, sometimes you have to do that. That's why um, I stress having a parts account because you know you can wait to pay that money back once you get paid for those jobs. But you know if you don't have a parts account, you have to pay for those parts for and then wait to get paid for those jobs. 30 days is kind of rough. So you know that's money coming out of your pocket. So just be mindful of that. Sometimes it happens like that. You know, you get enough work, the ratio of you getting jobs that have high amount parts, you know, it goes up. And I think it um, doesn't usually happen, happen like this for me where I get that much in a week. Well, it's happened to me before. I can't lie, but it's not often. Um, you know, I might get one job that might have a part that's 200 plus dollars. I, I don't want to say I try to, but I'm always it's always easy when parts cost less than a hundred bucks, you know, just get them, pick them up. You don't even really worry about them that much. Um, once you start getting up there and building up, you know, revenue, that's what I want to say. But cause that's what I do a lot of times, you know, once I use one part, sometimes, um, I'll get two of those parts just to build my stock up in the, in, in the long run. Sometimes I do that. It all depends. Cause once I build up enough, I might not get one until I use the next one and then order two again or you know everybody has their own system that's just mine um, I don't really have which I really need to do have a list to keep track of all the uh, parts that I have I mean I guess in my mind I know I, once I hit a job and oh yeah I have this part I have this part it kind of just stick to your memory because I took the time like I said I'm doing inventory I took the time to really map out the parts that I know I run into and that I need just by experience and what I see. So, you know, everybody's, you might not see a lot a lot of older stuff like I do, you know, if, especially if you're not doing a lot of home warranties. But COD, you might see some stuff too that's old. Um, if you're doing uh, retail warranties, usually it's things within five years, so you're kind of seeing new stuff. But other than that, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about this week, because that's pretty much what I'm um, uh, it's been going on. I'm just hoping today I don't have a, any jobs that need expensive parts. Um, one of the jobs I had to do that needed a um, ex you know a big part was a uh, I got a Neptune uh, Maytag Neptune stackable washer. The motor is not. I'm sorry. The drum is not spinning out properly, so it's going to need the motor control. But for that model, you got to change. It's a conversion kit, so you got to change the motor and the motor control. It's all new. So. Um, warranty company covered it, but like I said, I got to wait 30 days to get money from them for this job. So the, yeah, they send me checks for prior jobs that I've done prior. So I'm still getting money from them, you know, usually weekly. So, you know, I'm getting money to replenish, but at the same time, it's not for that exact job. So you got to know, you got to keep things, you know, in check pretty much when you're in business. Uh, appliance repair. It's not that difficult but you know it is easy to build up um a parts bill and you know one thing you don't want to do and i, I want to stress this too because if you're in your own business you 
don't want to do this. You want to, by all means, you want to make sure you get the right part because certain parts you take back have a restocking fee or some parts you can't take back. So if you get the wrong part and you're stuck with that part, that's money that you're losing. And I'm not out here to lose money at all. So I make sure if something I don't know, I take my time and I get all the information I can, even if I'm at, you know, on site at the house, you know, if I don't know and I have to sit there and go through tech notes or tech sheets online or whatever the case may be, you don't want to take a loss, a hundred, two hundred dollars, you know, has it happened to me? Yes. You know, once or twice since I've been in business, it hasn't happened that much because I've had years and years of multiple times working for a company doing that. So, you know. And the more it happens, the more it's like, I say the more it happens, because as you get older, as you get experienced, the less it should happen. But anytime it happens, it's like, you can't let this happen again. But it's something, sometimes you're acquiring experience. But me, I, at this point, I don't buy parts. I don't get parts unless I'm 100% sure, usually. There's sometimes I'm 95% sure, but I got to go at 100 just to know. And then sometimes you get parts and then everything's working and, it, and you need another part. Especially if it's stuff that's, um, um, when it's the main board or it's not getting power, you, you don't know what's going on sometimes. But, like I said, you don't wanna shotgun parts and get parts that are that you think is the problem and it's not the problem. You're, just gonna, you're wasting a whole nother trip and you're just taking away from your labor, kinda. So, so you wanna stay away from that. Other than that, um, maybe the other thing I want to stress too is that's how you limit your recalls. I mean, I have recalls for dumb issues sometimes, and sometimes it's just me, you know, not doing things a hundred percent, and you know, so you got to take fault for that. Some days it's just you're not feeling a hundred percent, but you got to at least approach it like that. And I want to say, like the last recall I had is stupid, like. The screw came out of the kick plate. Now, I probably was putting it on and didn't put it on the best way, but the screw came out. I had installed a, um, a dispenser and a GE dishwasher and did everything, took the whole door off, all that, put it back, just the kick plate. It was on when I left, and I guess it just popped out or something like that. So, you know, stupid things like that. You try to make sure that you do things, everything properly. And I, I'm the first to say I'm not perfect. We're all human, but... I will make sure that I get back there if I have to or if I need to, you know, or mainly get it right the first time and just make people feel comfortable in their own home and all those things. I keep getting stories of people, um, especially through warranty companies, where they'll go out, um, pick up their service charge or whatever, and then never come back with the part, and then I'm coming back now. And I have to, you know, that's already taken away from my service charge because, you know, they don't pay another service charge if another company is coming back out within a month. So... Which is fine because the warranty company will pay me, but it's always nice to pick up some money every day, you know, especially doing warranty work. Um, it's not always pleasant working with warranties. There's a lot of headaches and, you know, just to go through every single one of them is kind of, you know, you have to kind of learn and deal with it as you go. But the basics are, you know, make sure you uh, get the job done properly because you don't want any recalls, especially if you gotta wait 30 days because you don't want that money to be held up, you know, at all. So you want your money to come, you wanna get paid for jobs. Um, that's pretty much it. So be careful of that, especially with parts. It's easy to get your parts bill up. Bill up. Um, the parts place, I talk to them all the time. It's so easy where new companies come in don't last that long have an account because they don't keep up paying it and they just, they lose the account. So you don't want that to happen. Um, I'm pretty sure once you start, you want to keep progressing. You know, as I started my business, just with every check I was getting every week, I told myself I'm setting myself up for, you know, to succeed, not to fail. You know, before I left, like I said, before I left my job, my old job, I made sure I had enough money in the bank to cover me for a couple months. And that money that I had built up in the bank was jobs that I was doing on the side. And I might have been doing two or three jobs a day sometimes on the side, every day after I'm doing seven jobs working for another company. So, you know, you gotta have the sacrifice to now 
be able to run your own company and do certain things. Having a nice, you know, having a nice van, having certain things. You might not need it initially, but those are the things that you build up to and want to get to. You know, that's the thing. I my van was blue when I started. You know, I, in my mind, I'm like, I want a nice white van. And now I'm working on getting this van um, wrapped. So I just found a good guy that does it. So I'll get to it. But didn't want to make a video too long this week. I'm about to get to my next call. I got a busy day today. So thanks for all the new subscribers, all the people still watching. I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot, man. And, um, or man and ladies, everybody, thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day, man.